Oh wow, look at that village. Yeah, check it out. Is that oh. That's really cool. Can you guys see it? Like right there. Wow. Alex is freaking out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. As we're climbing up these beautiful streets into the village of Taormina. So we just arrived at our hotel and I wanted to show you guys the view because it's absolutely spectacular. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I just sat here for like the first five minutes we arrived and just stared outside. I can't even believe this is real. It is so beautiful, almost like too beautiful, like a picture. Wow. Alex and I spent a couple of hours here on the beach. It is so beautiful. We just found this randomly because we were looking for somewhere to have lunch at. And there was this little cafe place because everything, the time when we arrived was so weird. It was like 4 p.m. here. So most places were already closed for lunch because you know how it is in Europe. Everything is open from about 12.30 to 3 and then there, everything is closed until dinner. Um, and then of course there's some places that are open but they're usually more touristy places that we try to avoid <laughs> but you know we were hungry so we just ate and the food was actually quite decent is this place over here and I don't know what this beach is called Alex do you know the name? Mazaro Mazaro? Mazaro but the backdrop guys is absolutely beautiful like so far I am extremely impressed with Sicily uh, specifically Taormina because that's where we are today and I can't believe it's not better advertised it's like a little gem I know it's still quite touristy here but I, I don't think it's as popular as let's say you know Positan or any other places wow wow <laughs> So we're just back in our hotel room trying to post a video of what I eat in a day and the internet is really, really, really slow. Oh. So I'm hoping mm. it's not gonna take forever because first I have to download the video and then I have to upload the video. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to say there's several reasons why I'm excited to be in Sicily and the obvious reason of course is that it's a new place, I've never been here and it's warm and sunny. It's the amazing. second reason, yeah, yeah the weather is just incredible. It's like the perfect temperature. It's not too hot, it's not cold, it's just like warm, really, really warm. The second and third reason is we have a few guests joining us. Yes. Guest number one, and he's here right now. You guys will meet him. Oh, His Tommy. name is Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Tommy is a drone as you can see we just got this literally when did you get this two days ago yeah so Alex got this I've been like nagging Alex to get a drone I'm like we need a drone we need a drone finally he got one a couple of days ago so, yeah. we haven't tried flying it yet so I think Sicily is the perfect place to try flying a drone because everything is so beautiful and vast and the backdrop is just insane. And the biggest reason is my cousin that I haven't seen in a couple of years will be arriving. Actually, he's already here. He's just taking the bus here, so we're waiting for him. So, very, very happy times. There he is. 
Okay, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys is over here, and I'm gonna make this a little bit darker so you can see. So that's Mount Etna, which is the second most active volcano in the world. I don't know if you can see the smoke is actually coming out of there right now, which is kind of freaky, but I guess that's what it does all the time here. It's very, very active and they're always watching it and making sure that nothing goes wrong. And if something goes wrong, they're prepared to deal with it, hopefully. <laughs> Good morning! So we woke up early this morning, already had breakfast and now heading to the beach. And here's my cousin Gulam. You uh, might have seen him in my video, follow me around. Was it on Mimi Icon channel? Yeah. Oh, actually, that was on Everything Luxy yeah. channel. Um, I'll link it down below, but that's when I visited Baku a couple of years ago with Alex. White Alex. <laughs> Alright, just want to show you guys the view. We're gonna be taking the stairs all the way down there. I think that's the beach where we're going today. Oh, so cool. cool. That one, yeah. What do you think of the view, Gulam? Oh, it's cool, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing? Yeah. So this is where we're gonna be going now. I don't know, I'm gonna try to zoom in because I don't know if you can tell, but there is sort of a path that takes you from the beach to this little mini island. I mean, I feel like there's some water the water there. <laughs> I think you might have to go through the water because the tide is um, high right now, but yesterday in the evening it was completely dry so you could walk. So we're gonna attempt to do that, but how cool oh. is this? Wow. So we're here and gonna cross to the little island through the path and it's all a stony path so it's a bit it's a bit strange to be walking on it. It's actually a really nice massage for the feet as you can see. It's so pretty here. Alex, what is this called? Bella? Sol la Bella. Sol Bella. So, I, beautiful island. Beautiful island. It truly is. Look at the water, how clear it is. It's kind of cold though. Oops. Okay, let's try the temperature. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is really, really cold. But, you know, once you're standing in it for like 30 seconds, <gasps> it almost feels like lake water. It's very fresh. Obviously, it's still very early in April, but I'm sure in the summer it gets really, really hot. Wow. Like, the water is just incredible, guys. Look at this. And the backdrop. Woo! Gotta go through the water. Woo. All right, it's nice. <laughs> Still very fresh. Oh, yay! I made it to the other side. <laughs> Are you enjoying the water? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> It's the first time we all got in the water. We were just sitting in the sun before. And as you can see, there's even a house like over there. Maybe somebody lives here. But look at this view. Incredible. So this is what the other side looks like. It's sort of a museum here. You're on the island right now. Yeah. Tiny island, aka a museum. Let's see what they have here. Uh. All right, so we're 
back in our hotel room and we're setting up Tommy for his first flight. Oh my god, this is so exciting and a little, a little bit terrifying because, yeah, you definitely don't want to crash this thing. Alex is a pro at this stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, you're better than me at this stuff. <laughs> I want to learn too, though, how to use this thing. I think Alex might have figured it out. It's not as easy as it seems. It's actually a bit complicated. Do we have to put it maybe in the middle? Yeah. Tommy, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> oh my god, Tommy's floating. <laughs> Whoa. It's scary. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I'm, I'm prepared as a pilot yet. <laughs> oh. I, say, I say I watched some videos. I haven't watched anything. I agree. Yeah, no. we don't know how to use this thing. We need to learn. <laughs> it sounds so powerful. It's like, oh my god. It is very powerful. Tell me sorry. I guess today won't be the day. I don't think we're prepared to fly it off the balcony. It's like... How could you do that to your own child? <laughs> so we're gonna go to the beach and try it there. It's a bit more safer, I think. Anyways, all right, let's go, guys. So we found an empty parking lot. Well, not fully empty. Well, not fully empty, but almost empty. Where we're gonna ta test Tommy's flying yeah. skills <laughs> because the beach didn't work quite well. There were too many people there. It was just a bit strange to be doing it while we don't really know what we're doing. So. We're gonna first test it here and see how it goes. Are you guys ready? Alex? Let's do this. Let's do it. You can see on the screen what Tommy can see. And it looks so beautiful from up there. Wow, Tommy, you're so lucky. Tommy and Alex, of course. <laughs> First flight. <laughs> Pilot. First flight went quite well. Uh, All right, so we randomly found this amazing restaurant. And the reason I know it's amazing and we haven't had anything yet except for some small appetizer they gave us is because there's they brought... There's actually a couple signs, yeah. Yeah, there's a few signs, but they brought us three olive oils to try. This is a good sign, DOP. Yeah. So what Anytime is, something is from Italy, and you can explain. Yeah, anytime it's from Italy, it's from DOP, or we call it DOP. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a certification, uh, right? It's kind of, yeah, the non the original, kind of like original, like it's from Italy, it's legit, they certified it. It's actually all from Sicily, he said. Yeah, but just, but yeah, in general. So you can make mm -hmm. cheese, you can make oil, you can make, I don't know, so many Salt, things. yeah. Balsamic vinegar. It's really good. And all organic and all from here. I'm excited to try them out. Yeah. All right. I'm cheating today and having some bread, but this is, I think, a sourdough bread. <laughs> I'm hoping. Everything here seems to be really great quality, so I'm going to try this out. Mm. You can just taste the olives. I need a little piece more. Mm. You see the color is sort of greenish too. Bellissimo. <laughs> I'm really excited to have some grilled veggies and clams and all the other goodness. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Great. <laughs> My cousin is like, are we gonna eat all of this? Like, really? <laughs> And this is my favorite dish ever. You guys know how obsessed I am with artichokes. So these are, I think, pan fried. Mmm, so good. Yeah. It's very nice. 
Actually, I think everything is organic. Very fresh. So what are you making? I'm making a salad with a limon intertonato, a kind of lemon uh, incredible sweet uh -huh. that I will serve you with all the skin. Wow. And a bit of a fresh uh, red uh, onion. Wonderful. And with a bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil and uh, homemade red vinegar. Nice. It's a kind of lemon, uh, really interesting, mm -hmm. and the size can arrive uh, uh, over one kilo. Wow, but, seriously? Uh, <laughs> this is so big. Look at that. <laughs> and you can see this is an organic lemon. <laughs> Taste that. Thank you. Oh wow, it's sweet. Exactly, normally. It's delicious. The lemon salad that you can do with all the lemon, you have to remove uh, the skin. Yeah. But in this case, uh, the skin is the best part. Wow. Inside we have a lot of juice, almost uh, very few seed. Uh -huh. And uh, the acidity of the lemon is uh, relative, uh, not too much stronger. This is a lemon that was very important in the end of the 18th century with a great uh, um, develop. And almost in 1950 was considered extinct uh, because uh, there was not any more interesting uh, to uh, produce this lemon. Now, with the slow food movement, uh, the, the, the lemon is safe. They are uh, around 500 hectares, only in the area close to Taormina. Is it just in Sicily? Or? Yeah, just in Sicily, but close to Taormina, uh -huh, not in close, other uh, part. Mm, just close to Taormina. So all the other lemons, let's say in Positano, they're big, it's a different climate. Different climate. Even in Sicily we have uh, uh, five types of lemon and uh, they are all of them very good. Mm -hmm. We have uh, il Feminello Siracusano, we have Monachella, we have Zagara Bianca, we have Lunario, uh -huh. but uh, Interdonato, this is the name of this, this lemon, is the Interdonato, Interdonato. it's only in a, uh, our uh, side. It's all about slow food. You see his apron says slow food. <laughs> I love cooking uh, only uh, best, best ingredients. In this case uh, I, I put uh, a bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil from Mount Etna. Uh -huh. And it's very important to use uh, uh, rock salt from Mozia. Uh -huh. It's also Presidio slow food. Uh -huh. And the top is uh, the homemade uh, red vinegar. This is an art that we keep uh, from the family, how to uh, uh, prepare the vinegar, conserve yeah. a part, wow. and renew with you know, new wine. New wine. I'm excited to try this. Extraordinaria. The finished salad. Wow. And now you added some shallots and you added. Yes, some just I put a bit on top to give a color. Nice. I don't need it, but yeah. uh, just enough is a good onion. And I use the red one that it's a very sweet. Yeah. It's a new harvest. Yeah, nice. nice. Thanks. So Mimi is now trying the salad. Okay, so it's very interesting because when he gave me just the peel of the or of the lemon, it actually tasted sweet. So I want to see if it's going to be the same thing. It's amazing. It's like sweet and sour. It doesn't taste like your average lemon. Mm. Especially the peel is actually sweet. You have to try this. Open your mouth. Yeah. The, the peel is actually the best part. Mm. It's amazing. So aromatic. The lemon is amazing. Wow. This place is amazing. Epic. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take one more. <laughs> <laughs> Second location to film some drone footage. There's Tommy, the drone. Ready to fly anytime. And we got this beautiful anyway. location. We were here yesterday, but 
we weren't prepared enough. I, th I feel like I'm, I'm more ready today, so let's do this. today and are gonna be doing a hike all the way higher than that hill when you get there there's more stairs and this goes to a really really beautiful town called Castel Mola yeah correct I said that right <laughs> so yeah we're gonna take it easy take lots of pictures on the way there and enjoy the scenic views Woo. and of course I'm prepared for my hikes and my glitzy, glamorous flip-flops. I told you. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I'm actually, I mean it. This is a, how I feel comfortable yeah, hiking. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So is my yeah. cousin. Not me. You can see we come from places where we walk bare feet. <laughs> 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 we do not yeah. understand the concept of hiking shoes. Unless you're hiking in a really cold weather and it's wet. Yeah, and it's hot now, so it's better in flip-flops. Yeah. See, he agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going exactly? We're up there to that village. That doesn't look too high up. Yeah. The view is crazy, look at that. This is insane. It's like 10 minutes into our hike, this opened up in front of our eyes. That's beautiful village of Tarmina. And look at the sea. It's like never ending. You should show the Greek amphitheater. We're gonna go there tonight, right there. We're gonna try to zoom in. We tried to go there last night, but it was closed. That over there. Nice. It's massive. We're just taking a little break. This is where we came from right now. So that was the first climb from down there. And then we walked all the way here. And now we're climbing up very steep. on a very steep road up. Let's go. Yeah. Look guys, we found an almond tree. If you've never seen an almond tree, because I don't think Alex has. Yeah. Because we used to have this back home. Basically, I'm not going to rip it out, but this is the shell. And then you break it. There's another that's thing. That's one almond? Yeah, that's one almond. Oh my god. You have to break the hard thing that's inside of this posse thing. That's why uh, almonds are so expensive. And then you get one tiny almond. Wow, there's so many on this tree. And sometimes they are double. Yeah, sometimes you, you get lucky. two. <laughs> like like twins. <laughs> so we cool. Can eat these? Um, I don't know. Some Not of, now. Some of them. Have to open. Yeah, it's too early. It's too early right now. Alright, we found another oh. tree. <laughs> And this is, my friends, is a fig tree. Obviously it's too early, because they usually ripen by August. But that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. I wish they were ripe and would have a nice snack. <laughs> Look, have you seen a fig tree before? No, actually maybe we have But some. not with actual figs, I yeah. think. This is pretty cool. I think due to the warm climate here, they look like they're gonna ripen in like the next yeah. month or two. Yeah. Definitely not August. Cool, so we gotta go up there now. Or maybe even higher. <laughs> I don't even know. I lost track. An hour later, we made it here. Yeah. All in one piece. It was pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Actually, it was much easier than I thought it would. It's definitely easier than Positano stairs. Do you think? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's more steep than Positano. This is probably yeah. longer distance, but it's not as steep. Yeah, it's steep and you have to keep going. Oh. Great. Definitely worth this beautiful view. Okay, we're amazed because right there, right over there where I'm pointing, is the mainland of Italy. 
because we're on the island of Sicily and we can already see the mainland because we're so high right now and we actually got lucky because it's a clear day and we can see I don't know what's that that's the I boot guess. that's the uh, Reggio oh, Calabria oh it's the Calabrian I think region Puglia, I think. that is insane that's how far you can see from here it's actually really close I didn't know that that it was that close that you could see it yeah wow Hi, my beautiful friend. Hi. Hi, you're so kind. You're so kind. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a lamb. Hey. You're so kind. And beautiful. Good dog. So we went home, quickly changed, and now, oh wait, what is this? <laughs> I have like wires sticking out of my bag. <laughs> and now we're here at this Greek amphitheater that dates something like, what did you say, three? Third century BC. Third century BC. So it's super ancient. What we're excited about is flying Tommy here <laughs> to get a really nice view. Hopefully we're not going to get banned. <laughs> <laughs> You're just checking to make sure everything is okay? Calibrate it. Tommy, are you ready? <laughs> Bye, Tommy. <laughs> what? That is insane. <laughs> that is crazy. drone we got to see a beautiful sunset it was, we made it <laughs> so what are we doing now what do you mean what's next next is we're gonna go in town and we're gonna fly tommy there <laughs> he was very excited <laughs> it's fun it's really fun i'm not even the one flying it yet yeah. i can't imagine how fun it is for you i know it is but look at the view guys i know like this true. is absolutely unreal italy is definitely it's not the most beautiful country, it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. They are all orange trees and it smells amazing. <laughs> Look at that. It looks fake. Oh wow. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't look real. Mm, can you smell it? We're at a beautiful square with a church and lots of people around us. And we're gonna give Tommy a go to fly around the neighborhood. <laughs> Too many kids. 
Alex and Tommy are celebrities of town now. I was like stressed out. <laughs> there were so many kids and they were all, all trying to get really, really close to the drone. Really but, close. But obviously it's dangerous if they get too yeah, close. Yeah, then it's my responsibility. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to jail. <laughs> so yeah, we played for a little while, but then we terminated the flight. <laughs> Hello, so it's our last day here in beautiful island of Sicily. Alex and I said goodbye to my cousin today. He's already on his flight back to Germany because he's doing his practice there. He's uh, learning to be, well, he actually already graduated from med school. He's gonna be an eye surgeon, pretty crazy. So that's why he's in Europe in the first place. Anyway, so he's back to Germany and we have just a few more hours to discover this beautiful island, so Alex, my adventurous <laughs> love, said let's go to a new place yes. and we did a little road trip to Syracuse. Syracuse? Syracuse. Syracuse. Or Syracuse. Or maybe Syracuse. American, <laughs> American style Syracuse. <laughs> But we're like wandering around like lost puppies because we haven't really done much much research yes. about this town because this was like so spontaneous. But one thing I read online while Alex was driving is that this was the first and the most biggest town um, when the island was first settled and it was first formed by the Greeks. So you can see a lot of Greek influence, then I think the Arabs invaded it, so then there's Arabic influence in the architecture and then somebody else invaded it, so there's a lot of different, oh my god, just look around, like everything looks so beautiful but also extremely ancient and because it's not yet touristic, it's like we're in a ghost so quiet, town, it's yeah. so quiet and there's so many abandoned buildings, but they're beautiful, like if you actually renovate them, they're yeah. gonna be so beautiful like paris or rome or any other you know major oops <laughs> major city in the world so basically from this trip what i'm learning is that we need to come back <laughs> there's so much to discover so so many people <laughs> that live in sicily wrote to me and said mimi you cannot live sicily without trying a granita. <laughs> Sadly, I couldn't find a really good granita place. There was one in Taormina, but we just yeah. didn't have enough time to go there. So I found this really cool coconut, um, I guess, what is it? Like an ice lolly or lollipop, yeah. they call it in America. Yeah. It's um, sugar-free, apparently. She said it has fructose. Um, and then it's covered in dark chocolate and pistachios and it's dairy-free too. So I'm assuming it's made out of coconut milk. I'm gonna try it now. Mm. It's actually very good. It tastes very natural. <laughs> it's like bouncy. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm, mm. Nice. It's probably the best thing I've had today. <laughs> <laughs> 